Hey YouTube, this is Backcountry Outdoors. Today we're going to paint us up another square bill. Uh, this one we're going to do in a crawfish pattern. Uh, here in just a second we'll get started. Uh, we're going to be using a old playing card that we've cut a stencil out of for the crawfish. It's just a little L pattern here, a little half circle pattern here. We're going to use some transparent Createx Black. Some Wicked Color, this is Detail Moss Green. Some Light Brown, Transparent. And the last color we're going to be using is Sand Color. We're going to make this thing some real earthy colors. And stick around and we'll get him painted up. And what that'll do, Detail Moss Green will bring those brown colors out. Give the bait some depth. Now we're going to start painting this pattern on it. And what I like to do is take my playing card and this time we're going to be spraying with a detailed airbrush. It's got a .18 needle in it. This is the GSI Creos uh, 771. This thing will... Uh, I love this airbrush. If you can stand to pay $150, dollars for airbrush cool lord this thing's good so i'll set this up there and i'll come around and i'll spray a real light line around that gill to give you a little circle like that and then you're going to use this l pattern and you're going to come up and stick it right about where you left off. And you're going to go down through there doing that just a couple of times. Touch that up down there. And that will give you some pretty lines. And we'll get him flipped over and we'll do the same thing on the yonder side. I'm from the backwoods of Georgia. Y'all have to forgive me the way I talk. Cause I'm so raised up in the country and I got that southern draw. The trigger on this airbrush is oh so wonderful. Oh so wonderful. I kind of spray on the card and then just let the lines, the paint overspray my lines just a little bit. match it up best I can. Yep, one more. And 
gives you a nice crawfish pattern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black, but not in this airbrush because we're going to swap. Just so I told you I was going to spray with all the Neo Echoes today. I got black loaded up in this one also. And we're going to come up the back and darken the back up. And the way we're darkening the back up, you ain't got to worry about taking the lines over the top of the back. I'm going to shoot right here and let that overspray go back on the gill plate and kind of feather back. Spray those eyes dark and just let it feather back on the gill. Alright, the first coat we're going to put on him is going to be a base white. Uh, we're going to be spraying it out of the Iwata Revolution with a 0.5 needle. And this thing, if you're wondering how they do, they do very good, of course, it's eye water. I'm going to put a good base coat on him of white here. Use our helping hands to hold our lures with. They do really good. I love them. Uh, I buy those. They're a little over five dollars at Harbor Freight. If you wonder where I get those? That's where I get those from. You can also buy them on Amazon, other places. Everybody, you know, a lot of online places has the helping hands. They usually come with a magnifying glass. I just take it off. So I can use the alligator clips. We're not going to be swapping airbrushes today. Uh, Swapping colors in the airbrushes today. I've got all the colors loaded up in different airbrushes we're going to spray from. So we'll just keep rolling. So next we're just going to grab our hair dryer and we're going to heat set this base white. Just a few little seconds there to heat him up, get all that paint just a little dry. Uh, we're going to swap airbrushes here just for a second. Swap our hoses around. And we're going to start spraying. We're going to cover him up with the transparent, and this is the Createx, and this is the, uh, the sand. You can buy it online at some different shops or let's see you can buy it Hobby Lobby uh, a couple other places I usually order mine off of Amazon or go to Hobby Lobby and grab it and we're spraying it out of the Iwata Eclipse Because we are spraying transparent, we probably will have to throw a couple of coats on him. And we're going to cover the whole bait in the sand. It is a light color too. I'm going to heat set that real quick and then put another coat on it.
I'm spraying at about 25 PSI on all the airbrushes. Uh, no adjustment. 25 does really good with all the airbrushes I'm going to use today. Alright, we got him a pretty good coat of the sand color on him. Go ahead and set one more time with that color. up a little bit all right the next color we're going to spray is going to be the transparent light brown also createx color everything we're spraying today will be createx and we're just going to spray a very light coat of this brown on him right down the side from the gill plate eyes all the way down to the very back just about like that right there. We're spraying this out of a Neo Echo J SJ83. I really like the Neo Echoes. They're, they work real good. They spray good. Um, they're not as good as an Iwata, no. But they're $40, so I've got three of those. You're going to see all three of them spray today. Uh, they work good. They work real good. Uh, if you're looking to get into airbrushing and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, that would be the airbrush that I recommend buying. Uh, they have a full website. You can go to Neo, just Google Neo Echo, and it'll pull up their website, and you can order anything, parts. They have replacement parts and everything on there. So <clears throat> if you're looking to get into airbrushing, it's a good, cheap way to do it. Uh, they spray good. You get three needle sizes. You get 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.5. So you've got a wide range of what you can do with it and works really good. And the next color is going to be our detailed moss green. Still air hose from one of these. I use quick connects on all mine. Pressure. Okay, I got it fixed. I'm just going right down the back. This detail moss green. And just fade it right into that light brown we painted. Just ever so slightly. We're spraying with a 0.2 needle. So we're just barely spraying out. We got air pressure. I got it cut down real, real, real low. We're at about 10 psi right now on on this one, and that's what it was when I cut my air pressure down. I wasn't gonna cut it down, but I figured try to get this look real, real good. I'm gonna have to cut it down a little bit.
cut it down way too far, but it wouldn't get no air pressure. Just give it a little light green coating. And what that'll do, that detail moss green to bring those brown colors out. Give the bait some depth. Now we're going to start painting this pattern on it. And what I like to do is take my playing card and this time we're going to be spraying with a detailed airbrush. It's got a .18 needle in it. This is the GSI Creos uh, 771. This thing will... Uh, I love this airbrush. If you can stand to pay $150, dollars for airbrush, whew, Lord, this thing's good. So I'll set this up there and I'll come around and I'll spray a real light line around that gill to give you a little circle like that. And then you're going to use this L pattern and you're going to come up and stick it right about where you left off. And you're going to go down through there doing that just a couple of times. Touch that up down there. And that will give you some pretty lines. And we'll get him flipped over and we'll do the same thing on the yonder side. I'm from the backwoods of Georgia. Y'all have to forgive me the way I talk. I'm so raised up in the country and I got that southern draw. The trigger on this airbrush is oh so wonderful. Oh so wonderful. I kind of spray on the card and then just let the lines, the paint overspray my lines just a little bit. match it up best I can. Got one more. Gives you a nice crawfish pattern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black but not in this airbrush because I'm going to swap. Just so I told you I was going to spray with all the Neo Echoes today. I got black loaded up in this one also. And we're going to come up the back and darken the back up. And 
And the way we're darkening the back up, you ain't got to worry about taking the lines over the top of the back. I'm going to shoot right here and let that overspray go back on the gill plate and kind of feather back. Spray those eyes dark and just let it feather back on the gill. Well, my camera decided to die on me. I don't know how much of that we caught. I, think, I hope I caught it in time. But what we've done is we just darkened up the back with some black with the Neo Echo. And got some good lines going up through there. Make our little crawfish pattern. <clears throat> we didn't finish darkening him up the way I want to. I just like to just ease a little dark right up the back side right there. Let it hit the eyes and wash back on the gill plate. that loud racket off because we're done it gives you a good earthy crawfish pattern try to get get in there so you can see it all done with a little stencil cut from a playing card get it in that frame right there see how we cut that out and you just take and line it up like say do the little round one right here my fingers at where the tin is use that up near the gill plate then you take your L shape and you're gonna turn it just like that and you're gonna put him on there and you're just gonna come down through there making your lines and it gives you a pretty good little crawfish pattern uh, I'll put some I'll put a picture on the thumbnail of what it looks like after it's clear coat because when it's clear coated them colors is really going to pop i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did like it subscribe to us we'll be painting a lot of lures we'll be making some lures we'll go through how to make jig heads i make everything i do everything fishing hunting so just keep watching our channel and you'll see us do a lot of different things hope you enjoyed this this is backcountry outdoors out